Hi guys, it's Lily and welcome to my channel. So today we are getting ready for hot girl summer because it is basically summer. I got burnt to the crisp, burnt to the crisp. I don't know if that's the saying, but I got very, very burnt this weekend. It hurts very bad so it is summertime basically which means we have to get ready for that so I am going to do my hair and makeup how I think I should do it for the summer like I need to start a new routine you know but also before we do that I need to get like spiritually and mentally ready right hot girl summer is just my thing you know like i love it i stand hot girl summer actually because even if i'm not hot it just makes me feel hot you know like it makes me feel like i'm that bitch i just showered though i need to get ready right now because i am going to be starting a zoom call with an instructor doing like a core and like yoga type class look at my lock screen it's so cute but it's 4 16 and my hair looks really blonde right now i love it but what should i wear it's super duper hot so i feel like i should wear a tank top and leggings maybe throw back to my merch let me know if you guys have this because a lot of you bought it obviously i'm so grateful for that but like it was so long ago, I wonder if you guys still, like, the people that bought it still watch me, you know? I'm in my basement right now, and I'm about to start my Zoom call. It literally looks like I'm, like, in a dungeon, but no, I'm just in my basement. Let's get this thing started. I'll let you know how it goes afterwards, obviously. Um, this is, like, a core and stretch class, and I am the least flexible person you will ever meet so this should be interesting really interesting that it was like a workout low key but it was mostly like yoga i don't really know how to explain it but it was very good very challenging for me as i could have guessed because i am the most unflexible person ever but if you want to follow the instructor um her instagram is at simply rooted soul super nice uh she's very talented obviously so yeah give her a follow if you'd like but now it is time to maybe do some makeup and do my hair that's what i'm that's what i'm feeling and i, I look so pale all the time i'm getting sick of it ignore my background my room's a little tiny bit messy right now but i gotta do my hair and makeup i'm gonna start with makeup first because my hair is still kind of drying for my shower first things first you gotta take off the glasses i get a lot of compliments that people like me with my glasses guys specifically but I feel like I can't wear glasses with makeup. Like, because I, then I have to do my makeup blind, first of all. But also, like, you can't really see my eyes and, like, all that perfectly. And then I get makeup on my glasses. Why does it look like I have, like, a black eye? I need to... I don't like how I look right now on this camera. <laughs> Um, if I look over here, it's because I have a mirror, obviously. I feel like every single YouTuber ever says that, but, uh, got to moisturize, so I'm going to be using the Felorga Hydro Hyal. Um, I've talked about this plenty of times. They sent it to me, and I am in love with it, because it doesn't feel like a thick, moisturizer but it does the job like a thick moisturizer would like it low-key just feels like you're rubbing water on your face and it smells really good like i feel like the smell reminds me of like a spa or something 
kind of like flowery. My shoulders and my neck are so burnt. It actually looks 10 times better in the viewfinder right now, but in person, I'm like, dang, girl. My goal for the summer, um, like beauty wise, is to look glowy and tan, obviously, but if you see my complexion, that might be impossible. So right now, since I'm in like my kind of like burnt, like tan phase, but like I'm obviously still pale, I am going to mix my light foundation, which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in porcelain <laughs> that's that is how pale i am but i'm mixing that with the um it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream in the shade light and this is like my dark shade so i'm mixing them both but i'm actually just going to put this on super light i think because like i said i want to look like natural but I also want some coverage and I also want to be a little glowy. I asked you guys on my Instagram story to ask me questions for a mukbang. And I decided I am going to be put making the mukbang but only with college questions because a lot of your guys questions were related to college so I'm going to be answering those all in one video but I'm going to be answering some of your other ones in this video um a lot of you guys asked about like staying healthy and like skinny whoa my voice sounds weird when i do that i'm going to be using the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade fair rose again that's what i get i think i'm gonna like put a lot of blush on to like match my like burntness look a little rosy also if you guys want to know what i'm technically getting ready for other than hot girl summer um i'm getting ready for a zoom call I usually don't do my makeup for them, but I figured I should probably do my makeup before my Zoom call that rather than after because then people will actually see it. <laughs> but a Zoom call for Maxi, if you didn't know what that is, or if you don't know what that is, it's Arlen Moore's um, mindset like program. It has been helping me a lot, to be honest, and he has weekly calls. Arlen Moore is a YouTuber, by the way and has a clothing line and stuff. Right now I'm going to be using the NYX Wonder Stick Contour Stick. Just cause I'm pale doesn't mean that I can't be all bronzed up, you know? Also, very exciting news. I am going on vacation this summer because if you didn't know, which I don't think anyone knows this because this was when I wasn't very active on YouTube. I post on Mondays and Thursdays, by the way, but I didn't post this Monday because Memorial Day. Anyway, this summer I had planned to go to Puerto Rico with my best friend Delaney and her fam, but that obviously got canceled because of what's going on right now and it's just not very safe to like leave the country, but we still wanted to do something, so... Delaney invited me with all of her high school friends to go to Myrtle Beach, which is a lot safer than Puerto Rico because we're driving and it is like legal. It's open and like people are allowed to go there. So that's what we're doing. And obviously we're like staying safe and uh, taking all the precautions that we have to before we leave. So that is what is up with me that's what I have going on that I'm looking forward to right now I am baking with the airspun loose face powder I haven't baked my face in so long I feel like like I feel like I don't even know how long I should keep it on for but I'm kind of sick of it so I'm gonna go in with the LA girl pro face uh, powder which is nude beige Honestly, most of my makeup is from the drugstore right now because if you didn't know, all my makeup got stolen on New Year's Eve and 
it was very expensive makeup to be honest that I've been like collecting for a while and I didn't want to go buy all new stuff because that is very expensive so drugstore has been working okay next I'm going to be using the Laura Geller um, blush in Bali I love blush recently I've like been really like getting into it and I never used blush ever in like high school or anything so it's kind of funny that I love it now and I kind of want to put a lot on because I want to look like I got some sun because I did and then I covered it in foundation <laughs> I love people that have like um like rosy noses I feel like that's so cute okay that should be good is it just me or do you guys like make faces at yourself in the mirror also? I always do that. Okay, I don't know what color I want to use. I'm thinking kind of like a pink, but I don't have any like subtle pinks. So I'm going to go in with the Take Me To Brazil palette, which if you know makeup, well, if you know this palette, it's bright. But I'm going to go in with the these two light pinks. And just put it all over my lid. Nothing too fancy. Pink is my favorite color. It's everything to me. <laughs> it sounds so stupid, but it really is my favorite color. Okay, I want it to look a little natural, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. Just blend it all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with the Carly Bible palette. I've had this for literally years upon years. I'm going to take the like light pink, really shimmery shade and just put it all over my lid because we want to be glowy. Okay, so right now, I don't really know if this is going to match completely, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to use Physician's Formula Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio. It's called Warm Nude Eyes, and it's like this kind of color, and I think I'm gonna put it, like, right on the outside. Like, not really line my whole lid, but just on the outside of my eye. I'm gonna go in with this palette again and use a super sparkly white color, and just put it in my inner corner of my eyes to brighten it up a little bit. Lashes next. Okay, let's see what you guys asked so I can start answering questions as well how do you think school is going to work in the fall that is a very tough question if you don't know i go to saginaw valley state university i will be a sophomore and i am living off campus this year which is super super exciting nothing wrong with on campus it's just not for me personally i have some bad experiences but i'm living off campus and so Personally, if I can't go back to class, I'm still going to be living in my apartment because I'm going to be paying rent. And I personally think that everyone else in my like complex is going to be doing the same thing. So I'll still be able to hang out with people and see them. But my school actually did say that they are planning on going back in the fall and they're like taking precautions and everything and looking into it and I think that it is possible. Um, I'm going to be using the Voluminous L'Oreal um, like eyelash primer. So yeah, I'm super excited for the fall. I have a good feeling that it will be happening still, but if it doesn't, I don't think it will affect me as much, but I would like face-to-face -face classes because online classes are just not it. And I have a very hard schedule next year, so that's fun. I'm going to let this dry while I put on my highlight. I look way more tan and like good in person, I feel like, than what you guys are seeing. I'm going to be using literally the last drop of my Mario Badescu uh, facial spray. This is the purple container. <laughs> yeah, that, that is disgusting. Why does that look like that? I'm just going to pat it in. Again, going into this palette. Once I get new makeup and like 
think that that's something I should actually spend my money on, oh, I'm gonna look so good. But for now, I'm just gonna use what I have and make it work. Okay, we're gonna be putting on a lot of highlight, I've decided. Like, I don't even care if this is, like, in style anymore because I'm just gonna do it because that's what I like. Also, I'm gonna be using Jordana Easy Liner for Lips. I think this was literally a dollar at Walgreens, so. It brings the color back to my lips that have foundation all over them, but they also make it a little bigger, you know? I gotta put a chapstick on over this. Mascara time. Let's see another thing that you guys asked. Someone said how to stay motivated. I feel like that is a good question because it's very hard, especially like during quarantine, like to actually stay motivated and stay positive and stuff while all this crazy things are happening. I just think like why would you stay upset about something that you cannot fix yourself? And why don't you fix the things that you can fix like uh if you want to lose weight you stay motivated by thinking this is what i want to do i want to see results like wake up every day and say do i love what i look like right now you should even without working out but say would i love myself more if i did work out would doing something like that make me happier like what do i need to be the best version of myself and then you accomplish the task okay guys this is the finished look it's very natural but very glowy and like you can still tell that i have makeup on i like it but now we have to move on to hair okay i'm just gonna straighten my hair so it's like really easy, but also um, I feel like it makes a difference. And the straightener that I am going to be used, I actually got sent to me by the wonderful company Duval. Like, look at it. This is my favorite color, first of all. This is my favorite color of all time. Like I said, if I could have everything pink, I would. And the second I saw this, I was like, yes, I need that. If you want any Duval products, 70% off. Go on their website and use the code Lily Varney for 7% off, obviously. It would make this straightener $28.50, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna section my hair off. I'm also the worst at straightening my hair because I rarely ever do it. My hair is straightened and super blonde, I love it. So. Thank you for getting ready with me. Um, I feel like I'm ready for the summer. Like, one, I have all the time in the world, honestly, to learn how to straighten my hair, and I have a great straightener to do it with. But also, now I have someone to teach me yoga and make me spiritually and physically ready for hot girl summer. And also, this makeup look, I'm a fan. It looks like something that I like definitely would do. It's just a lot more glowy, which I love. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you are ready for Hot Girl Summer. And if you are, what do you think is the definition of Hot Girl Summer? Because I feel like that is a very controversial topic. Like, what really is it? Please give this video a thumbs up like I said. It helps me out tremendously, especially because I'm getting back on the grind. I post Mondays and Thursdays, like I said before. And so I can't wait to see you on Monday. Turn my post notifications on, subscribe, and peace. Mwah.